In this video I show you how to change the oil, the oil filter, the air filter and top up the windscreen washer reservoir in a Skoda Fabia Mark 1 1.9 TDI. First thing you want to do is find some level firm ground to put the car on and then put the handbrake on of course. Then go inside the car, start the car up and run that for a while, for a few minutes to warm the oil up so it will drain out easier. Then you want to get your jack out and jack the front end of the car up slightly so you can get better access to the car underneath. And don't forget your axle stand for extra security. Release the bonnet catch by pulling towards the front seat. Open the bonnet up with a catch at the front in the grill. Unclip the bonnet support strut and locate in the strut holder. Then you want to find something suitable to lay on when you get underneath the car. This 1.9 turbo diesel engine has been specifically designed to use SAE 5W40 fully synthetic Volkswagen 505.01 specification oil and it takes about 4.3 litres so I usually buy a 5 litre bottle of uh, the best quality that I can afford at the time. Take the oil filler cap off and then you want to take this engine cover off and it's located at the rear and two pegs at the front so the two pegs at the front are here and then there's a back one you lift it up at the front and then slide it towards you what I would say about oil is that the extra cost of using high quality oil better guarantees that the additives that go into the oil to improve viscosity, wear and friction resistance as well as detergents, rust inhibitors and dispersants actually work to protect your engine and if you're buying a cheap oil you've got less guarantee in my opinion that that's going to be the case. Now I always promote changing out your oil regularly although they do make a long life oil I don't use that, I always change mine roughly every year which equates approximately to seven and a half thousand miles or twelve thousand kilometers. But it's also worth noting that if you drive a car hard and or you race it or something, that you're going to put extra strain not only on the engine but on the actual oil itself. So you may want to change that out more often in those circumstances. Now go underneath the car and remove the lower engine cover. It's uh, located with nine T25 screws and it's attached at the front with little hooks um, they just slide in you want to undo the ones at the side first and then leave the last one with the rear one towards the rear of the car hold the cover up with something like your, your foot and untake the last screw out and then drop it down and pull backwards to release it from the front and then draw it out forwards then you want to go underneath the car and locate the sump plug which is a 19mm bolt in the centre of the sump at the rear. And then attach a suitable ring spanner or a socket and wrench and undo it. Making sure you're turning it anti-clockwise which isn't always easy because you're a bit disorientated and it's on the reverse side. So just be careful you get it, you're turning it the right way. Stripping out these is a common thing. So make sure you're turning it anti-clockwise to the bolt head. When you manage to break, break the bolt off and not literally break it but just loosen it and then um, get a, a bowl to pour the oil into and put that underneath and then continue loosening the bolt off until you can unfasten it by, with your fingers. And then this is the final process. Just take your time till you get slower and slower to the end of the thread with your thumb and forefinger. Lift your other fingers out of the way and at the last minute keep a firm grip of the bolt and just quickly move it away. And then you'll get a full stream of oil pouring into the bowl. And then leave to drain for a good half an hour to get every bit of oil out of the engine. And one good tip would be to come out of the car underneath the car and lower the jack down so you're leveling the sump out so you can you're going to get every bit out of the you're not going to trap any oil in the corners of the sump now if we look down at the front of the engine we can find the oil filter housing 
and you should be able to unfasten these by hand but they're quite a bit tight so you can get um, a, a device to put on the top you can grip it around the serrated bit here I don't find those to be very good on this I much prefer a 36 millimeter socket and wrench attached to the top of the plastic cap which seems to work a treat loosen the cap a little bit then put a rag around the base of the filter holder to stop any drips going down into the bottom of the engine and slowly take the cap off usually with the filter attached holding the protective rag underneath while you take it away from the car but in this case it hasn't it's not attached so we'll just have to take it out separately fitting a new filter they usually come with a new rubber o-ring the old one is located at the top of the threads near the shoulder just put a flat bladed screwdriver in and, and prise that up a little bit and just pull it off the threads and fit the new one and don't forget to oil the new one before you put it back on clean out any gunge and sludge from the filter housing and cap using a clean lint free rag locate the clips at the top of the filter back into the cap that will hold it up as you put it in then slowly drop the filter in and slowly tighten the cap now the cap does say 25 newton meters of torque but I found that uh, they're usually quite tight these and you need to get the the top edge of the cap flush down with the filter housing um, and the rubber seal going into the filter housing to be correct but I guess in time with the heat of the engine the plastic and the housing change shape slightly and tighten the whole unit up as long as it's a nice snug fit in the end, not not overly tight, then you, you should be okay. Just remember you have to get it off again the next time. Carefully thread a new sump plug and washer into the sump and tighten to the correct torque. Now you can fill the engine with oil. And I like to use the top off an old milk carton cleaned out, which just fits snugly into the top of the oil spout and it's got a nice little handle on it it makes it ideal because it just stands where it is without falling out so when you fill in it with oil look on the filler levels on the bottle which will give you a rough idea of how much you're putting in and then slow down near towards the amount that you're putting in and then check your dipstick just remember if you put too much in it's difficult to get it out when the level reaches on the dipstick to the in between the markings then put the cap back onto the filler spout and turn your engine over for a while run that a little bit turn it back off again and then wait till the oil has settled clean your dipstick and then take a reading which you find has gone down because it's got to run the oil through the oil filter housing then all you've got to do now is bit by bit fill up to the correct level which is between the markings. This is your air filter box here. It's located with there's two screws here, Phillips screws. So I just unfasten those. Be careful not to drop them down the back of the engine, otherwise you'll lose them for good. Now to take the air filter out, there's uh, you just pull it to one side because it's hinged just here. There's a little tag on this box and it fits under under here and there's one at the back as well so you just turn it to one side like that and then you can lift it out there's the, there's a little tag there you see the front one and then you can just lift it up and prop it on the top of the uh, there like that that's where i propped it up on there <laughs> and this is your filter and that just pops pops out just pull it out that's it and that's all the dirt you get that's what you're trying to protect the engine from 
here's the new filter and the filter just drops in around here it's got a, f a foam rubberized foam edging so you just drop it in like that make sure it's seated all the way around and then you put these two tags under here under that loop and that loop and put the screws in nice and tight and there we are jobs done just need to fit the cover in the slot at the back and push down at the front ta-da oh and don't forget to top up the screen wash top up your screen wash which is here take the top off get some clean water and you want some uh, screen wash add a bit of that in your water so the directions on the can there we go hey Ooh, Spanish wine. Look at that. What a guy. How about that then? A bit of skill. <laughs> that's full. Top on. Make sure that's on firmly because you don't want it coming out and spurting out all over your engine. Happy motoring. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. I really appreciate that, guys. It really helps me out with the channel. And don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.